today we will describe a lecture on how to examine the cornea which is a very useful in FRCS exams there are three main questions to be asked if you have a clinical case or a photo where is the lesion what is the lesion and how to manage there are three equivalents is very important to evaluate the uh, uh, the cornea first of all the slit lamp examination which is available everywhere cornea topography to evaluate the corneal curvature and lastly the specular microscopy to evaluate the endothelium also there is there are three colors are available in the cornea could be cloudy like that and this is white or just deposits like those mutton fat kibis. the second color common is the red which shows that deep and superficial corneal vascularization yellow or brown like this panace or what's that yes vortex vortex keratopathy and what's here there are brown pigmentation in near the limbus hole around yeah exactly this is kaiser fleshering kaiser it's not fleshering fleshering is for keratoconus kaiser fleshering for wilson disease and we will discuss this later also there are three so the cornea examination has everything threes three questions three equipments and three vital stains fluorescein rose bengal as well as this I mean green the fluorescein has a large molecules doesn't go through the epithelium so if you uh, put the cobalt blue and you find that there is fluorescein staining this mean the fluorescein is staining the stroma because fluorescein doesn't doesn't stain the uh, epithelium both the rose bengal and lysamine green they stain like this picture uh, here the necrotic cells or the mucus and we can use both combination of the fluorescein and rose bengal in herpetic dendritic ulcer the fluorescein will stain the floor and the rose bengal will stain the edges this is a very important topic techniques of the slit lamp examination and part of the clinical exam is to evaluate you how to use different methods of slit lamp examination that important machine in the ophthalmology clinic there are two being two arms sorry for uh, uh, of the slit lamp one with the binoculars calling viewing arm and the other with the light which is with the mirror on that is called illuminating arm if you are putting both together at the same with the angle zero this mean direct with the beam wide called parallelogram and this is useful for scanning the whole cornea to search for the pathology but once you find the pathology and you need to evaluate the thickness of the cornea or where is the depth of that lesion we make it narrow beam this is if there the angle between the two arms is zero if there are two the, if there is an angle 30 or 60 or 90 degrees between the illuminating as well as the viewing arm this called indirect because they we use internal structures to see the uh, uh, the level of the lesions inside the cornea like a sclera scatter and retro elimination and we will discuss this in the next few slides this is the direct like what i mentioned Both the angle is zero between two arms retro elimination where we can use the the fundus to see the cataract or the iris to evaluate these tiny vesicles in the epithelium or you can uh, illuminate the limbus to make a total internal reflection inside the cornea it will act as a mirror and we can see here any subtle opacities inside the cornea we call it scleral scatter actually it's not scleral it's limbal again we have three again 
free time filter, red free, and we use it for red lesions. But where are the red lesions? We use the red free or green filter. This is very crucial. If you have a patient with glaucoma and you want to search for nerve fiber layer defects, if you show the green filter or the red free filter to the examiner, he will be uh, surprised and this will raise your uh, score. Cobalt blue, we use it with fluorescein to, and for, for many reasons, the most important in, in, in it measuring the intraocular pressure with the Goldman applanation tonometer. The white filter, which is the useful, uh, this is the one commonly we used. If you got any lesion, you will have to, have to describe uh, this lesion.